Hey, welcome to your kingdom! Woo In today's video, we are going to talk oh, what I love to talk about money! Ah! And if you are already feeling like this about money, my friend, this is going to change right now. Let's go! Okay, money! Oh my god, who doesn't want to have more? Yes, I'm not saying that kind of money to just buy meaningful things and but hey, you do whatever you want with your money, right? You have it, so how can you attract more money? You might ask, my friend, I do have a very complete training about that. So if you want to know more, check it down below. But here, right now, we are going to talk about three things, three things that people with abundant mindset do. And what is that abundant mindset? It's feel yourself abundant. Let's do this exercise now. If you want, because I'm not going to show anything today. <laughs> just my face, so. <laughs> if you want, you can just relax. Relax a little bit. Close your eyes if you feel like doing it. But just relax, you know? Think about yourself. Think about yourself as an abundant person. What do you see? What do you do? How is your life? And I hope by now that you are smiling and very enjoying what you're seeing in your head. Because my friend, you can become that person. You just have to do three things, just, well, it's more than that, but you can start right now doing three things that I hope that will lead you to a mindset shift, with a shift where you will become more abundant. So, as always, I do have here my notes, so that I don't get lost in the talking here with you. And let's start. And the first thing that I have here that you should do is my favorite thing to do, that is being grateful. How often are you grateful in your life? What are you grateful for? What are the things that you take for granted today but you really should be thankful because a lot of people don't have what you have? Think about that and start saying thank you to yourself, to the circumstances where you are. Just say thank you. And I do have an um, exercise that you can do that is, oh, what do I have here? Having a gratitude book, okay? This is super powerful. And this one is mine. It's in my main language. Uh, but yeah, I have here things like, I'm grateful for having a place where to live. I'm grateful for having food every day. I'm grateful for having a family that loves me and supports me. And I'm grateful for, at the time, studying at university. So just write down on a place things that you are grateful for. And just feel it. Feel the gratitude inside of you. Like, oh, I'm so grateful. Oh, this, is, this is so good. Just be grateful. Because abundant people are grateful for what they have. You can have a rich person with a poor mindset. Don't forget that. But you can have, let's say, a poor wallet right now, but an abundant mindset that will lead, lead you to more abundance to yourself. And that's something that you can start today with gratitude. Let's see what else you can do. You can also reflect how far you have come. And here, we can go back to, to gratefulness again. See where you are right now and why you are there. Be thankful for who you are right now and see how far you are. Because most of the times we think that we are lost, we are unsuccessful, but if we see all the steps that we took in the past, damn, we came a lot farther than we were waiting for. So yeah, just look how far you have come in your life. And it's also very important to have a vision, to know where you want to go and have the steps to achieve that. And I know it's overwhelming, but that's why I'm here. If you need help with that, check the links down below 
and maybe we can find a solution for you very very quickly. It was supposed to be quickly. I hope you understood. Well, you know that I don't edit my videos, so just those things that you will see here with names and stuff. The, I don't cut the, the wording. And yeah, the last thing that I have here that you should do is thank other people. Be thankful, grateful. You see, it's all going to the same spot here. So be thankful for other people. Even the people that did you wrong in the past. Let's go to story time like I usually do. In my case, I had a toxic relationship a few years ago. Very, very toxic. It really damaged me a lot. And I had to have some proper health care about that. So just for you to have an idea. But I'm thankful for that person because that person made me realize how strong I am. And how I overcome those situations and who I am today. How I can deal with that and just be a better person now. So be thankful for that. Or maybe that, um, I don't know, maybe you had a job and then you lost that job. But maybe you now are in a better place. So be thankful for that. Sometimes there are wrong things that happen to, that happen to us but lead us to better places. So just be thankful for everything and of course be thankful for the positive things as well. So um, those are my three things that I wanted to share and I just wanted to know, to, to let you know now at the end why you need to do this. Why you need to be grateful, to reflect how far you have come and to thank other people. And how is this connected to the law of attraction, manifestation and woohoo all that. Well, it's all connected. Because when you do this, you will create an aura of thankfulness around you. It's like you are glowing all the time. Like, wow, you're glowing there. And this aura will draw many more things into your life. Will, will draw, draw, attract. I don't know what I wrote here. <laughs> As you know, English is not my main language, I'm sorry. But yeah, this aura will attract more things into your life that so so that you can be more thankful for so when you do this all this gratefulness or this thankfulness or this ah in this positive vibe mode you will attract more things to let you be in that beautiful state and this this is the secret to have an abundant mind because everything around you will sound will start to seem wow this all came for a good reason oh thank you oh. you will know what I, I'm talking about because now I have a challenge for you ah, I want you to try and practice this for the next days okay and then come and comment down below how it was for you I want to know <laughs> so that is my challenge for you and these are the three things that I wanted to share with you about abundant mindset and hey if you are here uh, and if you enjoy this video so far don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next